Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm doing another scraps to something video and I'm going to make some of these little embellishments. Just hope the camera's focusing there. They're just on a little bulb pin. So I'm going to use some of my scraps to make those and then we've got just a little word that I did stamp this word but looking through my sentiment stamps I don't have any really small enough so I've got my Tim Holtz uh, chit chat words out to use instead of the stamping but if you haven't got those and you've got some stamps I mean I could have used my alphabet ones really but they're quite big and I've only got a small space to stamp in so I'm going to use them for the for this video okay so I've got my scraps at the side of me I've got small scraps I have three boxes small scraps um, like a bigger scraps and then I have an A4 basket as well, a uh, box that I have. So we're going to work with them. To start off, I've got two punches. I've got this square one, which is, I think, let me just tell you. It's just two inches square. And then I've got this little tag punch I found in my stash. So to start off with, what I'm going to do, I've got some just scrap craft card here I'm going to punch out 10 squares I might have to stand up to do this yeah it's one of them punches that are really hard to press that's three four oh dear me that's six so I'll do another four. There, one more. And then I'm going to pick some pick some papers out. While I'm stood up, I'm going to punch ten of these in the craft card. I'm just doing this because it'll be a little bit sturdier rather than just using card uh, papers. out of that one. No, I'll have to use that little piece there. Yeah, I thought if I just use paper they won't be as sturdy. So I've got my 10 little tags and I've got my 10 squares. Right, let's have a look at some papers then. Let's get some papers out and uh, have a look what we're working with. I'm going to go into my small scraps first. I like that one. I want to try and do them all different to that, that one. Um, um, yeah we'll go with that one like I said these are sort of smaller scraps that's fine we've never got this one two three four five um, Seven, eight. Right, let's have a look in the other one. Um, that one should fit nine. We'll have that one ten. So let's punch ten squares out and then we'll punch another ten of the little tags out. So I'm just going to use my punch again. Now, obviously, if you haven't got a square punch, if you've got a die, or just you could cut a square, couldn't you, with your craft knife? So there's one. Do you know what? I've, I've had these punches in my stash since I very first started crafting, which was about, I've not been crafting that long, about 2015, somebody gifted them to me. And do you know, I've hardly used them. And over the past few weeks since I've been doing this scraps to something, I've just had so many ideas on how to use them. So yeah, making the most of them at the moment. But like I said, if you've got a die or just free, you know, just cut a square out of whatever you can. 
like I said these are all just scraps well you've just seen me get them out of my scrap box so it's nice to get them all out and use them and these could be sort of clipped on a spine couldn't they or clipped onto a tag or just clipped onto a page somewhere in your journal let me just cut that edge straight because I've torn it with my tearing ruler so I'm just going to get a straight edge okay and the last one I'd like to try and get one of them birds in if I could I wonder if we can get that bird in there yes right so there's my 10 squares so I just want to pick some more paper now and do 10 little tags so let's just have a look what we've got uh, there's one two three four five um, a lot of these are toppers as well six seven don't we I thought my phone was buzzing sorry I stopped then um, what's that at the bottom eight nine might just get one out of that one let's just have a look if we can get one out of this one will it be big enough or not it's not one of them punches that you can sort of hold in your hands to punch it has to be down you know down flat on the table so I'm not sure. Let's just see if we can get one out of there. I've punched the wrong thing. I'm punching tags, aren't I? Silly me. Let's see if that'll fit on there. I might just get it. Yeah, there we go. So there's one. I'm getting myself all mixed up. Two. Now you can use the same papers that you're using for the bases if you want to. I'm just varying mine a little bit because I've got that many scraps to get through. It'll be nice to use them. So that's why I'm changing my papers. As you can see, I've got tons of scraps to get through. So all these little projects are great for using up your scraps. Great. Right, last one. Let's just straighten that edge. See if we can get one out of there. Right, there we go. So we've got our 10 squares and 10 tags now. So let's just put the lid on those and finish with that one. And we finish with that one. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to start gluing them on top of each other I'm going to glue obviously my squares onto my squares and then my tags onto my tags and like I said you don't have to do what I've done if you just want to punch them out of your pattern papers then you could do that I'm just doing this because I just think they'll feel nice so they'll be a lot more sturdy right so I just want to get my glue I'm just going to grab my scrap my scrap paper out so it's just on here just whilst I'm gluing and then I don't get glue everywhere I've been trying to get into my room from 10 o'clock this morning but for some unbeknown the scaffolders have been putting scaffolders I live in an apartment and they've been come they came putting scaffolding up so it's been banging I haven't been able to get into my craft room till now it's about half three now yeah so not to worry I'm trying to get it done before you know before the light goes away but I think we should be okay. Right, so let's start gluing these squares onto here. So how's everybody doing? Are you all okay? I hope so. Um, I'm fine at the moment. Yeah. Everybody's okay in our house. I'm not too sure whether the children are looking forward to going back to school or not, to be honest. Two of them seem to be happy about it but one of them seems a little bit like she'd rather stay at home she 
she says she likes doing her online learning I'm sure once they get back into school they're all nervous as well aren't they and yeah they've been off school such a long time this year off and on it's it's been a very strange year hasn't it for us all for everybody concerned so yeah I'm trying to find some shoes for one of them but there's no shops open anywhere to, to get shoes from apart from online and it might sound silly this but she's got really odd strength she's got long feet but they're quite narrow so she really needs fitting you know sort of Clarks's or somewhere that fits but obviously there's nowhere open like that at the moment so I'm fine I've ordered two pairs and had to send them back I'm finding it difficult to get her some shoes to go back to school in so I'm going to do the food shop on th uh, tomorrow Thursday at Tesco I'll have to see if they've got anything in that I can just pick up for her just to last her the rest of the tour you know last her till they finish in the summer for the summer rather yeah you don't realize do you how much you miss this just being able to walk into a shop and buy something yeah it's difficult buying shoes online so okay nearly done with them yeah I thought they'd be nice little embellishments these spend my time thinking about what I'm going to do with my scraps and sometimes I get loads of ideas come into my head I have to have a notebook at the side of me so if I come in you know if I get any ideas I just put them in my notebook quickly and then I don't forget them yeah so let's just put these little tags on here as well yeah um, I'm forever I'm watching always watching YouTube videos in my when I get my spare time I don't really watch a lot of TV if I'm honest I like to, you know, have a look around and have a look at some videos and I get, well I'm sure everybody gets lots and lots of inspiration, don't we, from YouTube, from other people. I was thinking I might do a little series like an inspired by me, you know, inspired by series because I watch that many videos and there's that many things I'd like to have a go at making that other people have designed. I was thinking maybe do a series on inspired by, you know, and different people for the projects that I want to make because I obviously I always always give credit to the person whose idea it was if it's not mine I always do that I always mention it and I always put it in my description as well I think that's only fair when you, you're using somebody else's idea so yeah I'm thinking I might do that because like I said there's so many things I've been watching that I'd like to have a go of I've been like making a note of a few of the things I'd like to make. So yeah, let me know what you think. I think I might do that. It's an inspired series because I'm sure we all get a lot of inspiration from YouTube, don't we? And um, Pinterest everywhere, Instagram, uh, books. I get quite a lot of inspiration from books as well, you know, magazines and stuff like that. Yeah. I think I've gone one short here somewhere. Just punch one more out. I always have so many ideas of what I want to do. So I like to, to make a note of them. Okay, right, I'm just going to grab another piece of paper and just punch another we'll have that one there let's just get my tag punch again just punch up there okay right that back so this probably takes the longest just gluing your papers down what did I do with that there it is right okay so there's our little tag and little squares so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring in my um, what's it called this one corner rounder I'm just going to round the corners on my squares I hope it'll go through that cardboard not very good oh it's gone through that time that's one I just think they look nicer with rounded corners rather than being just like a blunt edge you don't have to if you prefer the square edges then 
don't you know don't um, don't use your cone around it. So I wasn't too sure whether they'd go around because it's only a cheap little one this I picked up from Hobbycraft. I can't find my other one. I've got two actually. This was just a, a little tiny one I found on the website when I was ordering some boxes. So but it's doing the trick I think. It's just missing some of them. Oops, I'll have to put some more glue on that bit. Nearly there. See, that one's not. I think if you don't push it right into the corner. It doesn't catch it. Oops. See that one's not caught neither. It's just ripped the cardboard. There we go, that's it. Stop messing about, why is it starting to cut funny now? I've done that one. Well, we're going great guns now it's decided to stop working. Come on, that's it. Last one. Right, let's just get rid of those little bits. And these will go in my ephemera giveaway box my yeah that will be gifted so let's just get my vintage photo and I'm just going to ink around everything that I've just made up so Okay, so there we go. I've inked around all the bits that we've just made. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the craft card again and I'm going to cut some strips. I'm going to use my fancy edge scissors so they're not going to, I'm not, I'm not bothered that they're not going to be straight. I want them to be, I don't want them to be straight. That's why I've not used my trimmer. So I'm just going to cut some strips that I can put a word onto. See how many we can get out of one. Cut that down. Let's just see how big they're going to be. Just see how big I want to make them. So that big. So I want 10 that measure the same as that. Like I said, I'm not bothered if they're not straight. That's fine. Let's put some more. I love these scissors.
Yeah, I use them quite a lot. I do like them. I've just ordered some, is it decal-edged ones? They're the only ones I haven't got. I've just ordered some off Amazon. Okay. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. And the different sizes, that's absolutely fine. That's six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's just cut that one down a little bit more. Two more, and then we've got the ten. Right, so I've got my 10 pieces of craft card as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring my ink again and just give it an ink around. But I'm going to use my walnut stain because it shows up a little bit better on craft than the vintage photo does. You can see the dark edges when you use the walnut stain when you're using craft card or craft paper. And you don't have to wink, you know, I say this all the time, if inking's not your thing, if you don't like it, then just do it without the inking. I know there are some people that don't like it, I've not cut the edge of that one. Oh, that one. really easy to make and a great way to use your scraps the only thing that you need is some of the bulb pins um, I got mine from well I got some from China and I got some from Amazon I'll link both for you obviously Amazon you'll get them a lot quicker than you would from China um, yeah so I'll link them down below for you so I'm just going to sort out these I'm just going to see which tags I want to go with each one Right, so I want a plain one with that one, a leaf one with um, that one, that one, just trying to match them up a little bit, that one, that one, um, what other colours have I got, I think we'll have that one with that one, that one. That one, oh I did have ten, I punched an extra one, uh, and that one, yeah, that one. Let me just put my ink pad ink just around the edge of there, does it look dark enough? Right, okay, so we've put them there now, no it's there, look. Wake up Alison, what have I just done with it now? Where did I just put that other one? <laughs> Not counting right, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just move them to one side for a minute. And these are the little bulb pins if you've never seen them before. What have I done with them? They're just like a little clip, I'll show you. I've just dropped half of them all over my desk. Just picking them up. There they are. They're, they're called bulb pins. They're just shaped like light bulbs. And they're just like a little pin, safety pin at the top. I mean, you can always use a safety pin if you've not got, you know, they just open like a safety pin. So that's what we're going to use. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring in my little craft card bits that we've cut. And I'm just going to put one of the Tim Holtz big chat words on there. I think I want black. So let's have a look what we've got. I'm not sure how many of these I've got. Uh, right, so we'll have that one. Dreamer. I'm going to stick them towards the bottom. Right, let's just put them with one of the adventure will that fit on i'm not sure whether that oh yeah it will put that on with the eiffel tower um delightful that one there um the 
just go back. Blessings. I need to order another one of these. I haven't got many of these left. I seem to have tons of white, but not many of the black ones left. What else shall we have? Um, what have we got on this one? Imagination. Will that fit on or will that be too big? No, it'll fit on. How many more? Four more. Um, lucky. That's just now the sticky's gone off that. Magic. That one. Um, possible. And you could always use, you know, words if you've got a download from anywhere, if you've not got any of these stickers. Or just like I said, make your own up with, um, with your alphabet stamps. Right, what else do we want? Story. Okay, how many more? One more. And we'll have Wanda. Okay, so that is those stuck on. So all I'm going to do now is just put them together. And to do that, I do have to do them separately. I've got my little hole punch here. I'm going to punch a hole in the corner. And then one in the tag. I can't punch them all together. I've tried before, but it won't, it won't go through my punch. It won't go through, the punch won't go through. So then I'm going to put the square at the bottom, the little word in the middle, and then the tag on the top. And then I'm going to get one of my bulb pins. I'm just going to undo some. Just undo them. It's easier for me to... They're not expensive, these. I think the ones on Amazon, they do a pack of all different colours. Um, on AliExpress, you can choose what colours you want. But obviously, you'll have to wait a bit longer for them to arrive. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight. Two more. They are great little things. I use them quite a lot. Nine. Right, I just can't decide whether looking now to put the tag there and the word on the top. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to swap them around. I'm going to put the word on the top and put the tag underneath. But I am going to put something on the tag in a minute. So there we go, just like that. And then just clip them together like that. So let's do the rest of them then. Yeah, it was a shame that my hole punch won't go through them all together, but I mean, I could have used, perhaps I used my, what do you call it, um, I'm just going to cut that off a little bit, oh, what do you call it, um, crocodile, I never thought about that, I could have used that actually, never mind, it won't take long to do it this way, put the little word on there. There we go, just like that. I like these, my kind of ephemera. You know what I'm like with anything with a word on, I like using. Just trimming them down a little bit. Okay. How long have we been on? It's just, just coming up to half an hour to do them, so that's not bad, is it? So you could do like a little mass make and make a ton of them. That one. I love thinking of ideas to use in the scraps with, you know, stuff that I will use. There's no point making stuff if you're not going to use them, is there? But these will get used. Mind you, I'm gifting these anyway, aren't I? But I would use these anyway on my projects if I wasn't gifting them out. I can always make some more, some more of them. Um, 
Yeah, it'll take, this will take the longest, putting all the holes in everything. Okay. Yeah, I think they look better with the word on the top, don't they? I never thought to do it that way, to be honest. Um, I love this paper. This is Tim Holt's paper, this one. Beautiful, the wallpaper. Tim Holt's wallpaper it is. It's not dear, I think it's about $5.99, the A5 sheets of paper. Really nice. I've been hoarding it, but I actually used some of it the other day. That's why I've got some scraps from it. I'm after the wall. Is it wall, wildflower? Wildflower or wallflower, the 12 by 12. But I can't find it anywhere. It seems to be out of stock everywhere that I've looked. Let's just trim that down a bit more. We don't need that, that long. Yeah, I've been having a look online, but I can't seem to find it at the moment. It seems to be out of stock everywhere. It must be popular. Where's the hole there? Mind you, I have ordered some 12 by 12s. I'm waiting for them to come. I've ordered some, is it a Fabrica Decor? And some 13 Arts paper pads. So I'll have some stuff to use anyway. So perhaps I should leave the Tim Holtz paper for a bit. Until I decide what project I'm going to do. Okay. Can't see which place I've put the hole in. It's that small there. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy that I've kept all. Because when I was having a sort out last year. Well, not as big a sort out as I've had, I'm having now. I put all my punches in a bag and I was going to donate them. And then I don't know what made me stop. I thought, oh, I might just use these shape ones and that. So I kept them and I'm so, so glad I did because I've not half used them a lot lately for this, you know, for my scraps to something. I really have used them. So I'm so glad I didn't get rid of them. Yeah. Where's the hole there? And we've got one more to do. One. So yeah, they've took us about half an hour to do those, so which is not too bad, is it? I think I'm going to make some more of these. I like these for myself. Yeah, I think they'll be nice in a journal. Or clipped onto things coming off my hole punch oops wrong way right last one <coughs> excuse me put that there right let's put that pin in okay so there we go there's our 10 little embellishments and to finish off I'm going to put a butterfly I think on Should we put it on the tag or should we put it on? Yeah, we'll put it on the tag. If I've got butterflies small enough, that is. I'm not too sure whether I've got small enough butterflies to go on. They're quite big. Hmm, never thought about that to be honest. I've got one there. Yeah, I never thought about how big the butterflies would be. Perhaps something else. Then what else could we put on? Um Let's have a look what else we've got. Yeah, they're a little bit too big. I could stick them on the back, but I wanted to go on the tag, really. Um, what, do I, what do we think? On the tag or on the back? No, on the tag, because the papers are nice on the back. Let me just see what else I could put on there. Um, the flowers. Let's have a look at our flowers and see if we've got any... Any that would be small enough to go on. What's those? Well, I've got these little, I don't even know what, they're like acetate flowers. Could perhaps use them. I've got tons of them. Because I don't think anything else will be small enough. All these die cuts are 
Um, yeah, they'll be too big on that. Right, I'm going to use those, I think. I'm going to make use of these because I, I don't think I'll use them on anything else. So what I'll do, now I think they are acetate stickers. The only thing is I don't think I'm going to be able to get... I'm going to cut them down first. Let's just see how big they need to be. So we need to cut just underneath there. Um, I don't know how I'm going to stick them down because you'll be able to see glue underneath them. Um, I just can't get the backings off these. I wonder if I try my pokey tool. Let's just grab that and see if we can get in with the pokey tool. No. I think the stickers anyway. I wonder if I can use my ATG gun. Where's that gone? Haha, <laughs> good question. Um where did I put it? I don't use it that often, so I've put it away somewhere. Bear with me. One minute. Let's see if I can find it. Oh dear me, where have I put it? Not in my drawer have I? Oh. When you don't use something all the time. No, it's not in there. I don't know what I've done with that. Oh dear. Right, so let's have a look if we can put put it on some some of this. Foam, uh, not foam tape, just double sided tape. Let's see if we can stick a little piece of this down. Like that. And then just use my pokey tool. I don't want to use my wet glue because it'll just you'll be able to see see through it. There we go, that'll work. Just put that little flower on there. Okay. Right, let's do another one. Let's put some some tape on here. We'll put tape on them all first and that'll be the easier option won't it and then this one I'll have to look where I've put my ATG gun it's somewhere in here I've labelled near enough everything but I can't think what I've done with it I'll have put it in one of them safe places we put things in like I always do I do like these actually, yeah, I quite like these little embellishments, nice, made up, I've used some more of my scraps, I tend to now, something I never used to do before, I, I have a look in my scrap box before, I, you know, when I'm, if, I'm, if I need something, I'll have a look if I've got any scraps that I can use before I get other sheets of paper out. Uh, to try and get to the bottom of the scraps because otherwise they just keep accumulating don't they and I have bigger scraps when some of them are not like been torn into but it's like kits that I've partly used that I'm not you know there's a, I've used a couple of papers out of and that I can just use for collage or stuff like that they're mainly my A4 ones and sort of papers from magazines and bits like that yeah these are just my little scraps Right, let's cut these flowers. I hope I've got enough flowers. Where do we need to cut it? Just underneath it, I'm cutting all the branches off. But it's just something on that little little tag there. I like that better. Right, next one. Make sure we go the right way. Yeah, that way. Uh, that's a double one, that one will not fit on. Yeah. I'm just going to cut it down there. There we go. They look nice on there. I, I don't even know where I got these from. I think these must have been from China, to be honest. But some of them look like they're going to be a bit too big. I have to just cut a piece off them. Let's try that one. 
yeah I'll just do it like that and then cut them down I've been looking for something to use these on there we go there's that one off there and the end off there there we go another one <laughs> next one right another flower yeah, it's easy just to stick them on and then trim them off. Okay, there's that one. Next one. I like these orange ones the best, I think. more to do now <clears throat> excuse me I need a drink my throat's very dry okay let's get another one they're all stuck together we'll use that one A little bit sticky now on the side because that flower is not as wide but it'll hopefully just dry and not stick together two more let's get that one with the two on okay and the last one shall we have we'll have that yellow one no it's too big we'll have that orange one that's better just get my scissors okay then guys so let's just move these flowers out of the way and then I will bring in the embellishments and show you my bulb clips back in my drawer and then they don't get knocked over again put that back up there right let's have a look what we've done then move that out of the way so there we go then there we are nice little embellishments just turn them over the right way and I'll zoom in a little bit really quick and easy to make aren't they really easy to make great way to use up some of your scraps great way and like I said I'm definitely going to make some more definitely really enjoyed making those out of nothing really yeah and like I said if you've not got the words just stamp them or stickers or whatever you've got you don't have to put words on there whatever you've got let's just zoom in a little bit you see there, move them down a little bit. There we go then guys. So as always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell which will notify you when I upload any new videos. So until next time guys, take care. Bye.